So after you've completed the, uh, the little modification on the uh, trigger rod uh, down on this end, uh, then the next thing to do, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the trigger itself, uh, try to get that pivot out of it. So what I did is I just slid the, uh, I haven't set this trap yet, I've just slid the rod uh, over the jaw and I've got it pushed over there just far enough so when you push it down it just it just comes to the side it just comes to the side of the spring I put the slide to trigger over the rod we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a 1 8 inch uh, chainsaw file and we're just gonna put just a little bit of a radius uh, right in that area where the uh, trigger rod sticks through. Well now I put the trigger uh, in a vise and I'm ready to put that little radius in there and I'm going to do that with a eighth inch chainsaw file and uh, you can see here what I did is I just marked a parallel line down the inside of that trigger and then previous to that I uh, when I had the, the trigger rod uh, through there that was right where the uh, that uh, uh, black mark is right where the end of the uh, trigger rod came through. So that's the area there, right where that trigger rod came through. That's that's the area we want to put this uh, this little radius. And uh, we're not going to do it very deep. Uh, all we're going to do is basically uh, make a little home position for that trigger rod. So I'll just steady up this uh, trap frame. And then uh, okay, you can see that's not very much. Uh, I'll probably take off just a little bit more. Uh, Okay, we'll give that a try. And now you're going to look at this and say, man, you got that offset. Uh, and that's by design. Like I pointed out before, uh, this side over here is the one that sets the trap off. This one over here, uh, that can move a lot, but before it does anything over here. So what, we've, what I'm trying to do here uh, is have the gopher push dirt against this side of the jaw. And so, and so what I'm doing is making that little home position uh, in the trigger uh, to achieve that. So I put the trap in the vise and it's, uh, it's set, the, the spring is wound. And uh, I want to point out something about the, uh, how the trigger uh, lays across the spring uh, on the bottom. Um, you can see that this uh, spring is wound in a helical manner and the, the, the trigger is uh, laying across that spring um, not in the groove but, a, but right on the top. Um, that uh, trigger spring has got tension on it and that's holding that, uh, th that trigger down against the spring. But it's still, uh, it's still capable of doing a lot of uh, uh, a lot of moving. Yeah, I mean, we haven't uh, taken that uh, pivot out of the tr uh, trigger yet. And uh, so you can see uh, on this, uh, well, it'd be the left side, uh, the top side there, uh, you can see how much movement uh, that can take place uh, without uh, the trigger moving uh, on the trigger uh, rod. So this next, uh, so what we're going to try to do next uh, um, this trigger is made out of thin material, but it's still flat underneath there where it lays against the spring. It's still flat. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take that uh, eighth-inch chainsaw file, and I'm going to I'm going to file. I'm going to sharpen this area right here, right where it lays against the spring. Uh, what we want to do is try to get that trigger to lay right in the groove between the between the coils. 
So we'll take that, uh, we'll take this down now and put it in a vise, and I'm and I'm going to um, take the chainsaw file and uh, sharpen this area. Now the area that we're uh, we want to concentrate on is uh, directly opposite from that little radius uh, that we put on the uh, on the other side. So we want this uh, this sharpened portion to be 180 degrees uh, away from that. And then the other thing is, uh, by uh, not only will we sharpen it, but we'll make that uh, that round hole a little bit egg shaped, and by doing that, we'll have more contact area with the coil spring. Uh, right now, the uh, the round hole uh, quite a bit larger than the coil spring, um, so it has uh, it has room to pivot. So after we've uh, after we've sharpened this area then that's going to lay down uh, right between the coils. Well I've marked that uh, trigger uh, position uh, just 180 degrees opposite of where we made that little uh, uh, radius and now it's time to, uh, what we're going to do now is sharpen this, uh, we're going to sharpen the inside of that And sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get the, we've got to get the trap out of the way and yet uh, be able to run the file. There we get move on. We're centering that uh, radius uh, right on that uh, mark that we made there. Okay, we got that whole file now, uh, so this reduce the section on the bottom, and you can see on the top of the vise here, it didn't take a, it. We didn't take off a lot of material, but uh, you can now you can see that that uh, that trigger is laying uh, right between two coils, and we've taken the pivot out of it. If you remember before. How that jaw was swinging back and forth? Well, that pivot is gone now. The only thing we have to do now is uh, you notice that this trigger, uh, the it's laying uh, right between the coils of the spring, but that's making this uh, uh, trigger at an angle. So just to complete this job, we'll turn it over and then I'll just take a needle nose pliers and I'll just bend uh, I'll just bend this uh, so that uh, the trigger is square with the jaws and the uh, the bottom is uh, parallel to the space between the coils. Well, the final thing to do uh, on this trigger now is just to uh, just to realign it with the jaws. So. Uh, so if I move this, uh, if I move this uh, trigger to line up with the jaws, you can see that the bottom of it is uh, uh, getting out of the the groove uh, between the coils. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold, I'm just going to hold the uh, the trigger on the bottom 
with one pliers and I'm taking a lay a needle nose across there and then I'll move this in a, a counterclockwise direction just uh, not a lot and um, so then when the uh, uh, bottom is uh, between the coils then the top will be lined up with the jaws. Well it looks like we're about out of time for this series uh, fine tuning the trigger on the DK1 death touch trap Coming real soon, we're going to do another workshop on uh, fine-tuning the DK1 trigger. I invite you to subscribe to my Burrow Buddy channel on YouTube. Uh, we've, we've got a lot more gopher trapping coming, and I have some videos on uh, some machine shop projects I worked on last winter. Thanks for watching.